morning yoga practice. We're here in Manoa in our living room. We are grateful for you being here. This is the Live Yoga channel and I am Evan. This is Tara. Aloha. We are sharing Hatha yoga, classical formations as taught by Yogi Charu. Mm -hmm. um, we're grateful that you're here with us. We'd love for you to come onto your mat, come as comfortable as you can into a relaxed cross-legged seated position. So if you need a pillow or something to get situated, we're just here getting started right now. So we're grateful that you're here with us in this moment. We get to celebrate our breath. Our breath is our guide in this amazing journey. We've had about 20, 25 years of yoga practice, each one of us as we've gone through it. And each day that we wake up, we're so grateful to roll out our mats and get a chance to breathe again anew. So what an amazing opportunity this is to be live, doing yoga with you. Thank you so much for being here. We are grateful. So coming to a comfortable cross-legged seat without any tension in the knees, a long spine. See if we can just find that amazing breath as it comes in and out of the nostrils. You can soften the gaze or close the eyes to look for the breath. Maybe it's full and ready and you've meditated this morning already or maybe there's a clog or different right left right nostril left nostril whatever it is just learn to watch the breath as it's happening in the moment All right, good job. And let's allow eyes to come open. We'll start with some pranayama breathing exercises to get moving this morning. We'll bring hands together at heart level. And we'll take an inhale through the nose, purposeful inhale through the nostril, arms coming up and out, palms face away, fingertips down. See if you can hold the breath in just for a moment. And then exhale, hands back to heart level. Beautiful. So let's try it again. Two more like this. Inhale, up and out. Hold the breath, bring deep breath in, holding breath in, and exhale, hands heart level, beautiful. Let's try the last one, inhale, up and out. Breathe and hold the breath, palms out, fingers down, spine long, smile on the face. Exhale, hands, heart level, beautiful. So Right hand goes to the belly, left hand comes out in front. We'll do some belly breathing here. Inhale, push the belly out through the nose and then push the belly out. Exhale, pull the belly back towards the spine. So we'll do it again two more times. Inhale, push, push, push the belly out. Mm, and exhale, pull the belly back towards the spine. Last one. Inhale, push the belly out. And then exhale, pulling the belly back towards the spine. Good job. All right. Both hands come to the belly now. We're going to do full, complete yogic breath. Start with that belly breath. Push the belly out. Inhale, and then allow the ribs to come up and in. Keep breathing. Inhale, expand the ribs, expand the chest, all the way up to the clavicle. Clavicle breathing. Big inhale. And then slowly take the hands down the front side of the chest, ribs, and belly. So work the best you can to make the fullness of the breath here. Inhale, push the belly out. And then belly comes up and in. Keep breathing. Expand the ribs. Expand the chest. Go for fullness into the chest. Keep inhaling. And slowly take the hands down. Exhaling, chest, ribs, and belly. Let's try it one more time. Last one, biggest one. Inhale, push the belly out. Suck the belly in, expand the ribs, expand the chest. Keep breathing. Mm, delicious yogic breath. And slowly take the hands down, the breath down. Mm, release the hands to the sides now. We'll do Kapalabhati. This is the forceful exhalation, the skull shining breath. So this time when we take the inhale, the belly is going back towards the spine. Or when we take the exhale, we're gonna push the belly out and then allow the inhalation to naturally follow. We'll work with it together. We'll do a round of about 50 working together. Let's take an inhale. And on the exhaling breath, let's begin. Forceful exhales. Exhale, exhale, 
exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale, exhale. Keep going. chest drop the chin engage the perineum and pull the shoulders up to the ears holding the breath in kumba breath retention no breathing hold the prana in the chest cavity no tension holding the breath and slowly as you're ready your time your breath your practice release the breath allow the breath to return to normal and just Quieting the breath momentarily. Kumba, breath retentions bring a steadiness of mind. It's luxuriate in that. Let's do a second round of Kumba. Inhale. Hold the breath in, engage perineum, lift the chest, drop the chin, pull the shoulders, hold the breath. the locks, release the breath, Allow the eyes to come open, we'll bring the prana into the eyes, eyes are open, head stay center, move only the eyes, yoga for the eyes, take an inhale, on the exhaling breath, look down, look up, look down, look up, look down, look up, center, so inhale, exhaling breath, look far right, far left, far right, far left, far right, far left, center, another inhale, exhaling breath, look down, far right, look up, far left, look down, center, inhale, exhaling breath, look down, far left, look up, far right, look down, center, good job, so instead of stretching the eyes, we're going to focus the eyes, bring the arm up, shoulder height not too high, not too low, fingertip in line with the eyes, focusing on the eyes, no blink, focusing on the finger, no blinking, begin to bend the elbow, bring the pointer finger in towards the nose, no blink, and then slowly extend the elbow, gaze out beyond, take a break, breather and then once again bend the elbow focus the eyes no blinking trot.com yoga for the eyes slowly extending the arm back out gazing beyond momentarily and then once again focus to the finger bend the elbow no blinking hands now, start to rub the palms together, bring a little heat and prana, energy into the palms, and as we're ready, we're going to close the right eye out, no light, right palm to right eye, left palm to left eye, breath here is slow and steady, breathing in and out through the nostrils with no light coming in. Releasing the hands, interlacing the fingers, pressing the palms away, bring the arms all the way overhead, straightening the elbows, moving into Ujjayi, ocean breath and breathing here, air passing the epiglottis, slight constriction in the back of the throat, sound of the breath is passing like an ocean wave.
releasing the hands out in front, turning the right palm over the left, get the palms pressing one another, turn the palms down, interlace the fingers one by one, get a good grip, roll them in, up and over to your degree of flexibility. Yoga for the fingers, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Slowly release, we'll do same thing, other side, left over, right, interlace fingers. Roll the arms in, up, and over to your degree. Breathing slow and steady, waking up the meridians, the marma points in the fingers, and the arms. Mm, let's slowly release. Bring the legs out in front. We're working through the warm-ups here. So we're gonna bring it down into the legs, the ankles, legs. So get both legs down, heels down, calves down. You can use the arms to help sit upright. Long spine, we'll start with toe cramps. Squeeze the toes for one release, two release, three release, four release, five release, six hold, squeeze and release. Right comes over the left, so just like we did with hand and fingers, if we can get one toe in. Interlacing the toes without using the hands. Concentration here, yoga for the toes. Maybe second toe, third toe, the fourth toe and the big toe. Squeeze, we get those toes and squeeze them. Yoga for the toes. All right, and release. Do the same thing on the other side. Interlacing. Left over right, pinky toe, second toe, third toe, maybe fourth toe, and big toe. Even if you can get one toe, that's amazing. Give it a squeeze, keep a smile on the face, waking up the nerves and the marma points in the toes, ankles, knees, and hips. Squeeze, 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 and release. Both heels on the mat here, we'll do yoga for the ankles, extend for one release, two release, three release, four release, five release, six hold. We'll go clockwise for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Beautiful, coming up into the knees now. Right leg is down in front, lift the left knee, grab opposite elbows, lift the chest, rotate for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, beautiful. Opposite side, left leg is down, right leg lifts, lifts the heart, roll for one, two, three, four, five, six, and switch, one, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. Right heel comes in, get the tail up towards the front. We're moving into the big muscles here. Right knee is down, left foot, left knee comes back. Take your time to your degree of flexibility here. Big muscles slowly start to walk the body back. So this may be our pose this morning. Continue to breathe as we go. No strain in the lungs, listening to the body, perhaps the elbows, perhaps the back of the head. Uh, perhaps a nice audible exhalation, a deep sigh if that feels comfortable for you here. Yeah, just let it go a little bit. Feels good in the front of the leg. Feels really good in the front of my leg. Keep breathing. And switch, so inhale, elbows down, exhale, come all the way up. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, perhaps beginning the inquiry process of how the body is experiencing the left and right sides in different ways. We stay curious, we remain witness to what's happening, we use our breath to go deeper. Again, perhaps to the elbows, maybe to the top of the head to your degree of flexibility, laying the spine flat and down. Keep that right knee down. You can grab opposite elbows or release the elbows out behind you. Take a few breaths. And then inhale, elbows down. Exhale, come on up. We're coming all the way into a standing position. 
in preparation for Surya Namaskar. This is the salutation to the sun. Stand with the feet together, fingertips pointing down, chest lifts, chins parallel, eyes are closed here momentarily. Let's contemplate our personal relationship to this amazing celestial star, the sun. We get so much life force energy in our bodies, on the planet, all the plants, everything is growing because of the sun. Contemplate your personal relationship to the sun, perhaps visualize a beautiful sunrise that you've seen perhaps recently or sometime in the past or even in a movie. Just the feeling of the sun rising over the ocean, the bay, or maybe a mountain, the yeah, feeling of that big, beautiful ball rolling into the sky. We're so grateful, grateful for the sun's presence in our life. We'll do Surya Namaskar, 12 poses, moving together with the breath. Allow eyes to come open. Inhale and exhale, hands heart level. And we'll inhale, arms up, press the palms, look up, you can reach up. So you can press the hips, lift the heart, press the feet. And on an exhaling breath, hinge and fold from the hips, place the hands in line, fingertips in line with the toes. If you need to, you can place the hands on the shins or the ankles. Start to lengthen the backs of the legs as the tailbone lifts. Let's remember here, it is our first stretch of the morning. Continue to breathe. My breath is slow. Bring the belly button down along the fronts of the thighs as the head hangs heavy. The forehead comes in the direction of the shins. Perhaps the palms are beginning to press to the earth as the tailbone lifts up towards the sky. Stay with that ocean breath. Hands, bend the knees, we get the left foot all the way back, left knee down, lift the chest, Ashwashan Shalanasan, crescent pose. Arms peel back, fingertips pointing towards the floor, gaze up towards the ceiling, lift the chest, you can bring that front knee in towards midline, press the rear knee and foot to the earth. No strain in the lungs. Place the hands in line with the front foot. Turn the top toes. Right foot's coming back. Hip distance apart. Arms are shoulder distance. Press the palms. Draw the chin in the direction of the chest as we lengthen the spine. Make space in the rib cage as we lift the tail to the sky. You may notice one knee wants to press back towards the wall more than the other. See if you can press both knees back evenly. Perhaps noticing one heel wants to press down towards the floor more than the other. Press both heels down evenly. Listen evenly into both hands, evenly into both hips, tailbones pulling towards the sky. And on an exhaling breath, drop the knees to the floor, send the heart right between the thumbs, keep the elbows close to the body, button tail are up, elbows going up towards the ceiling, extend the length of the chin on the floor, gaze out at your nostrils, Ashtanga Namaskar, two feet, two knees, two hands, chest and chin on the floor. My breath is slow and steady. On an inhaling breath, point the toes, place the hands to the mat. Coming up, Bhujangasana or Cobra. If you have a neck or a back injury, you can bring the elbows in line with the shoulders. Place the palms down. Lift the chest either way. Gaze up towards the ceiling either way. Point the toes. Engage the thighs. Press the hips down. On an exhaling breath, turn the chin. Place the hands. Come once again. This is mountain pose. Par Vokanasan. 
In the West, we call this downward facing dog. In the East, the yogis got the same pose. They call it mountain pose. Parvokanasana. Body shape in here like a mountain. Tailbone to the sky. Chin to the chest. Heels to the floor. Listening to the sound of your breath. Left foot forward, right knee down, Ashwashan Shalanasana again on the other side. Lift the chest, gaze towards the ceiling. Lunging into the hips, get the hips down, front knee towards midline, rear foot to the earth. Looking as far up on the ceiling as my breath allows for. Let's place the hands on an inhale, exhaling breath, feet come together, back to the legs, perhaps a little bit longer here, body starting to warm up, moving through some of the blockages, went through the warm ups, moving through the sequence, forehead in the direction of the shins, tailbone in the direction of the sky. Breathing deeply, perhaps pressing the palms to the earth, or even turning the palms around, beginning to bend the elbows. Bring the palms together, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands, heart level, release the palms to the sides. And the Surya Namaskar now on the other side. Take an inhale. Exhaling breath, hands heart level. Inhale, rise up, reach up, lift up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Place the hands. Bend the knees, right legs back, right knee is down. Inhaling breath. Ashwashan Salanasana. Oh, I got the wrong pose. Crescent, I was ready to go. She says no and she is right. Keep breathing, chest is forward, gaze is up. Arms are back. Mm, and then place the hands. Let's get the left foot all the way back. Body shaping like a V here. Looks like a mountain. Parvokanasan mountain pose. Knees, chest, and chin towards the floor. Heart between the thumbs. Elbows up. Inhale. Cobra position. Hips down. Heart up. Gaze up. No strain in the lungs. Turn the tops of the toes. Mountain pose, Parvokanasana. Right foot forward, left knee down. Ashwashan Shalanasana this time. Knee is in, chest is up, arms are back, and your gaze is up. Mm, let's place the hands. Left foot's coming to meet the right. Backs of the legs are long here. Foreheads in the direction of the shins and bring the palms together. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart level. Release the palms to the sides. Close the eyes. Momentarily visualize a beautiful crescent moon. We've got a first quarter moon on the way. Developing a waxing moon right now in the sky. We're grateful, grateful for this amazing celestial force traveling with the earth planet affecting the waters of our body, the waters of the earth and our mind, our mental processes are affected by the moon's process. Grateful for the moon, learning with the moon, with the Chandra Namaskar to make the mind our best friend. Making the mind the best friend. Chandra Namaskar, salutation to the moon, allow eyes to come open. Changing only fourth and ninth posture. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands, heart left. Inhale, rise up. Reach up. Lift up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Place the hands. Release the head. Again, maybe starting to warm up here. Continue to breathe. My, the breath is the key to this pose. Ocean breathing, tailbone to the sky, backs of the knees are pressing. Belly buttons coming 
forward and down along the thighs as the forehead comes in the direction of the shins. You can press the palms to the earth if you've got that privilege. We're bending the elbows slightly. And then bend the knees, left foot's coming back, left knee down, hands heart level this time. All the way overhead, this is crescent moon position. Lunge to the hips. Keep that front knee coming towards midline as chest lifts, arms pull to the sky. Body shaping like a crescent moon, rear foot in contact with the earth, pressing to the earth. Mm. No strain in the lungs. Listening to the sound of the breath. Place the hands down in front, turn the top toes, right leg back. We are leading in mounting pose, engage the fingers, palms pressing evenly, heels, knees pressing evenly, lift the tail, lengthen the rib cage. Keep breathing. Slowly on it. exhaling, knees, chest and chin to the floor, elbows close, and then inhale, point to toes, hips down, chest up, look up, Bhujangasan. Exhale, mountain pose. Left foot forward, right knee down, hands heart level, arms overhead. Lunging to the hips now again, opposite side, listening to the body, staying curious between left and right. Lift the chest, pull the arms to the sky, left elbow come toward, left knee to midline, right knee down to the earth, right foot down to the earth, lunging to the hips. This is crescent moon. And then place the hands, right foot comes to meet the left on it, exhale, back to the legs are long. Luxury in the openness you are finding into your forward fold momentarily. Stay with the steadiness of the breath. Press the feet, palms together, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands, heart level, release the palms to the sides. Chandra Namaskar, the salutation to the moon on the other side. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands, heart level. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Let's move with breath here. Right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, arms overhead. Crescent moon. Place the hands, left leg back. Turn the tops of the toes. Mountain pose on the exhale. Knees, chest, and chin towards the floor. Inhaling, Bhujangasana, point the toes, lift the chest. Exhale, mountain pose. Right foot forward, left knee down, hands all the way overhead. Inhaling, breath, crescent moon. Place the hands, feet together on an exhale. Arms all the way overhead on the inhaling breath. Exhaling, hands heart level. Release the palms to the sides. Ah, close the eyes momentarily. And feel the beating of the heart. Evenness in the shoulders and hips starting to develop. Perhaps a tingle in the tips of the toes and fingers at the top of the head as the capillaries vibrating movement of energy and prana, noticeable inside of the body. Let's allow eyes to come open in preparation for Uttasana, this is chair position. Arms come overhead, gaze up at the fingertips without changing the shape of the chin, so only the eyes look up, take an inhale, and on the exhaling breath, sit the button tail back. Natural curve in the low back, heart lifts, keep looking up. If there's room, bring some weight into the heel. See if you can lift, lift the toes up off the mat. 
Uktasana, this is chair position, building a little inner fire, heat, will and concentration in the standing poses. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhaling breath. Let's come all the way up. Release the arms to the sides. Interlace the fingers. Press the palms away. Feet are together. Legs are straight. Dwikasin double angle pose. This is a forward fold with the arms pulling up to the sky here. So you've been in this position similar, but we've engaged the arms now. So legs are straight if you're able. Extend the chest, extend the belly, extend the forehead, lift the arms, listen to the sound of the breath. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Exhale, release the arms to the sides. We keep moving through the chair sequence, hands heart level, twisted chair, bringing energy into the stomach here. Take an inhale. On the exhaling breath, sit back like you're sitting in a chair as the left elbow comes to hinge around the outer edge of the right thigh. Head and neck turn to the right. Knees are together, feet are together. Butt is down, belly button is across. Chest lifts, gazing towards right side wall. If there's room, you can look down momentarily, release the palms. Left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky. Again, butt down, belly across. Breath is slow. And let's come up. Hands back to heart level. Do the same thing on their side, this time flooding the liver. Beautiful, amazing liver. So much processing for us on a daily basis. Let's give the liver some love. Twisted chair on the other side. Take an inhale. On the exhaling breath, twisting across as you sit down into your chair. Knees are together, toes are together. You can check that. Palms are together, head and neck turned to the right. Belly button down and across. Butt is down and back. Breath is slow and steady. If there's room in your practice and you feel comfortable, you can look down to the floor. Left hand comes up to the sky as the right fingertips reach to the earth. Keep breathing. And slowly, let's come up and out. Hands back to heart level. Release the palms to the sides. And we will do table position next. Inhale, arms all the way up. Elbows are straight. Chin is parallel. Take an inhale. And on the exhaling breath, hinge and fold like we've just turned our backside into a table. Some line of energy, flat back, belly's engaged. The line of energy comes from the tailbone out through the fingertips. Gaze is down about four feet in front of you. Legs are straight. Body is firm. Drop the chest, engage the belly. And we'll bring hands together at heart level. Bend both knees, lift the right leg, extend the right leg back behind you, press the rear heel, point the toes to the floor. If you have no neck or shoulder injuries, you can release the arms in front. Otherwise, you can keep them at heart level or to your hips. Engage line of energy now from rear heel out through fingertips. Elbows straight, breath. Stay with the ocean breath and keep going back. After all this time, it's such a beautiful, beautiful breath. Keep breathing. And we'll go hands to heart level. We're gonna get that left, the right leg all the way through. So left leg stays straight. <laughs> right leg's gonna lift in the direction of parallel. Keep breathing. Smile at the shake in the leg. That hip flexor is waking up. Heel is up. Beautiful. And then release. This time we'll go to tree pose, Vrikshasan. Left leg is firm. Eyes are open. Press the right heel into the inner left thigh or perhaps down to the calf, even the ankle. You find your edge of flexibility this morning. If you're in the thigh, you can press the foot, release the knee down and back, hands to heart level or arms all the way overhead. You find your tree. If you want to go out, you want to go up, you want to go in a steeple. This is your living room, your practice, your experience of balance in this moment. 
Standing leg is firm. Yeah. Beautiful. And hands back down to heart level. Release the palms. Release the legs. Shake it out if you like. And we'll balance the hemispheres here, right and left. Let's do a similar sequence on the other side. Hands to heart level. Inhale, exhale, standing right leg is firm. Left leg's coming up and back. Okay, so look down for balance. Press the rear heel, point the toes towards the floor. Extend the arms out in front. Make that line of energy from rear heel out through your extended fingertips. Elbows are straight. Gaze is down. Go hands together, heart level. Right leg is strong, left leg's coming through and up. Smile at that leg, might be shaking, keep lifting, maybe lift a little higher. Yeah. And slowly release. We'll bring right leg straight, left, palm, left foot into right leg at the thigh. Careful not to be at the knee here, let's be aware. Take care of those knees. Left leg comes back, right leg stays firm. Maybe one hand to heart level, perhaps both hands to heart level. Arms extending, find your tree, whatever that is this morning for you. Arms can be together or apart in a steeple, maybe in a mudra, whatever feels good. Keep breathing. And slowly let's come down, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Bring the mat, feet mat distance. Right hand grabs the left, left hip comes out. Right shoulder forward, gaze towards the left armpit, swing tree, side body stretching. Keep holding, keep breathing. And let's come all the way up. We'll do same thing on the other side. Left hand grabs, up and over. So right hip comes out. Left shoulder comes forward, gaze towards the armpit, chest. Breathe through any stress, strain, or discomfort. And let's come all the way up. Beautiful side body stretch. Feet or hip distance apart. Hands come to the hips. Take an inhale. And then exhale, hinge and fold. Coming all the way down to hands to feet position. Parahastasan, hands to feet position. So if it's comfortable, you can go ahead and get your hands underneath your toes. If not, that's cool. Go ahead and place them on your shins, place them on your ankles, any place. Backs of the legs are long here, tailbone's coming up towards the sky. You have the privilege to place the hands under the feet, and bend the elbows, start to allow the body, the forehead, Come closer in towards the knees. Belly button to come closer to the thighs. Tailbone coming higher to the ceiling. My breath is smooth and steady. Stay with it. Keep going back. Release the hands, use the peace fingers, to, the legs straight, peace fingers to the big toes, lengthen the head and neck, look up towards your computer screen, look up towards your front wall, lengthen the low back, lengthen the middle back, lengthen the chest, and then keep looking up, look up, look up, through the ceiling maybe, and release the head and neck, place the hands and walk the feet back. Meet once again in mountain pose, Parvokanasan. Let's walk it out a little bit. Bend the right knee, press the left heel. Bend the left knee, press the right heel. Extend both knees, press both heels. Fingertips are spreading, shoulder distance apart, palms press. Your elbows roll towards one another, make space in the shoulder blades. Reset here in mountain pose. Lift the left leg up off the, up to the sky, right knee, right heel is down, right elbow is straight. Lift that left leg a little bit further. Inhale on the exhaling breath, all the way to the front of the mat. Back foot turns in slightly, 
moving into our powerful warrior series. Outer edge of the back foot turning in slightly. Lunge into the hips, get the hips down. Front knees in line with front ankle. Right hips coming forward. Hands can come together at heart level. Twist, twist. Right shoulder forward and arms come all the way overhead. You can be apart, you can be in a steeple. Straight arms, arms are pulling up to the sky as the hips are going down. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one position. You breathe and listen to the sound and the music of the breath. Inhale and exhaling breath. Keep the front foot where it is. Opening up the back foot slightly. Perhaps an inch or two to start to open up the hips. So right hip now instead of coming forward is going backwards. Glue the back foot. Sink once again. Keep it the pose. Lunge into the hips a little bit. Arms are straight, parallel to the floor, gazing out at the front fingertips. Vira Vajrasan 2, warrior 2 position. Take an inhaling breath on the exhaling breath. Right hand comes to meet the left. Waking up that front thigh. I can feel it. This is Advaya, the fearless warrior. Back foot is pinned, arms extend, body shapes a diagonal, heart is up, eyes are open, breathing through, and slowly left hand to the floor, right hand to the sky. Open the chest, turn the head and neck towards the ceiling, reach up towards the ceiling, left hand to the floor, and then right hand to the low back. In preparation for your bind, open that front chest, heart to the sky. If you'd like to release the left hand to grab the right, you may. Keep with the breath, stay steady in the legs. And then slowly release the bind, place the hands, drop the back knee. Heel toe, left foot comes wide here, kondinyasa. This is an arm balancing position, I'd like everyone to go A for attempt. Left hand and outer edge of the tricep is going to come in contact with the left inner thigh. Right hand comes into meat like you're in a push up here. And then slowly start to bring the body forward. Get, look forward. Right elbow in contact with the right hip. And then the right knee can come up off the mat. Point the right toes, perhaps. Point the left toes just for an inch. See if you can lift the right foot. Everyone's giving it an attempt. Arm balancing. Beautiful, and slowly. Come down to me in B. Balasan, the child's pose. Beautiful, beautiful child's pose. Feet are greater than hip distance apart. Extend the forehead down, extend the buttocks to the heels if it's comfortable. Otherwise, place a blanket or a pillow at your forehead so you can rest easily with palms facing up at your sides. Notice the beating of our hearts, amazing purifications of the ventricles and the oracles of the heart pumping blood. We're grateful for this amazing circulation system, arteries and the veins bringing blood healthily to all the organs, out to the appendages, up to the brain. Visualize your two lungs inside of you now. They're ventilating, they're breathing, bringing in life force energy, bringing out any purification, allowing any waste product to return back into the earth. It's an amazing respiration system. Lungs ventilating and purifying the body with fresh life force energy again and again. Grateful to the two lungs. Inhaling breath, we'll rise up and come to meet in Parvokanasan, balancing the right and left sides of the body. Hands placed at the front of the mat, heels press evenly, hip distance apart as the tailbone rises up to the very top of the mountain. 
Keep the left heel down now, right leg's gonna lift up to the sky. Lengthening the left elbow, pressing the left heel down to the mat, right foot goes a little higher. Inhale, and then exhale, right foot all the way forward, outer edge of the back foot turns in, let's rise up. Left hip forward, left foot down, lunge to the hips, hands can come heart level, twist the ribs, twist the shoulders, arms overhead, arms are straight here, left arms trying to come slightly in front of the right, soften those toes, put a smile on the face. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one position. Inhale, on an exhaling breath once again. Virabhadrasana two, so you can find some time here. Open up that back foot. Left hip is opening now, so not trying to go forward, it's gonna open, there's a difference. Front knee stays in line with front heel. Sink to the hip slightly, arms parallel to the floor gazing out at the front fingertips, listening to the music of your breath here, beautiful. Mirabhadrasan, two, inhale, exhaling breath, left arm is forward, gazing, body's facing in diagonal here, gaze is forward, heart is lifted, arms are straight, smiling at the shake in the leg, Right hand to the floor, left hand to the ceiling, reaches up, head and neck turn to the left, gaze towards the ceiling, stay strong in the legs, steady in the breath. Big inhale, exhaling breath, left hand to the tailbone, open the heart further, you can press the palm to the earth or otherwise open up for your bind as you stay solid in the legs. the hands, drop the back knee, heel toe, same thing as the other side, arm balancing here. So get the back foot long, get the front foot wide, tricep comes in to the right thigh, the left arm comes to meet it like a push up and then body starts to come forward, left elbow to left hip, and then back knee is up, right leg is straight if there's room. Right foot lifts slightly, hold perhaps for a moment, even a breath or two, and slowly come down to meet Balasan Child's Pose, tail back, forehead down, palms up. Gratitude now for the largest organ in and on our body, our beautiful skin. Skin is helping to purify the body. The heat comes in the body, the fire element mixing with the air, the breath, the air element, the waters of the body. We start to get perspiration. The heat comes up, it rises the water, it turns in the direction of a steam, a purification steam happening from inside right now. Grateful, grateful for this amazing alchemical mixture of elements. Skin, the pores of the skin are opening up to allow for detoxification, purification from inside out. Grateful, grateful for these amazing processes and this beautiful, beautiful skin that results. Inhale, rise up. And we'll come to our knees. We're going to come to stand on our knees now. Knees going to come a little greater than hip distance apart. We'll go into Ukstrasan. This is camel position. Knees a little greater than hip distance apart. You can turn the top toes up if that's helpful in reaching back. Hands come to the low back. Start to press the hips forward. This is a backward bending position. So move slowly and with the breath. Lift the rib cage. Keep pressing the hips forward if there's room. The head and neck can start to turn back as the body weight starts to reach back. You can reach right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel. If you can grab those heels, start to really squeeze the shoulder blades together, give a little room to drop the head, 
Press the heart forward. Big opening in the front side of the body. Small sips of oxygen and prana if you need. And then slowly hands back to the low back and come with your hands in front now all the way back to child's pose. Keep your knees where they are. Turn the top to the toes flat. Sit the forehead down. Turn the palms up. Momentarily expressing some Awareness, gratitude, appreciation for the amazing nervous system, central nervous system, the big brain in our skull, the amazing brain, the brain stem, the spinal cord, all the synapses and neurological activity. Grateful, grateful for this amazing nervous and electrical system operating within our bodies right now. Inhale, rise up from our child, and we'll come to meet in an easy squatting position in the middle of our mat. So whatever easy is for you. If you're not as familiar with the squat, you can keep the heels up. If you've got a little more openness, get those heels down, feet about hip distance. You can go a little wider. We'll get the left hand down, right arms up. We're going to have a nice, nice opening in the front of the chest. And then we'll switch, do the same thing on the other side. Right hand's coming down, left hand's coming up. Mm, and slowly come down. We'll bring both hands in front. A little bit more arm balancing here. We're going to come up, move in the direction of some inversions as well if you'd like to play. We'll start with crow position, bakasana, hand shoulder distance. You can go ahead. Press the backs of the knees into the triceps and start to lift the butt and tail up. If you're familiar with this pose and we let you go up, you can try one leg and the other. Perhaps go just straight away into your tripod headstand. If you're still trying this pose for the first time, see if you can bring the toes slightly together. Maybe lift one toe up off the mat. Maybe lift one foot off the mat. Maybe try the tippy toes of the second foot. Maybe both toes come up off the mat. Again, maybe try with one leg if you'd like. Coming back in, try the other leg. Coming back in, beautiful. If you need to come down and test yourself or rest yourself in child's pose, now is a great time to do that. Otherwise, if you've tried this pose, Bokasin, Crow Pose, you want to go up again. Let's get a second attempt. If you'd like to drop into the tripod headstand, now is a good time. As you come from your crow, it's a real, it's a little gentle move. The head wants to come down. So you come from crow, and then just slowly, uh, boop, drop down the very top of the head, stay active in the arms. If you want to bring one leg up and in from here, that's a good way to go. Maybe both knees come in real central as you start to come up. Eventually, heels press towards the mat, towards the ceiling. Arms are pressing to the mat with the palms, no tension in the head and neck. If you're trying to up in your headstand, you want to try some variations. We can do wide legs. We can try eagle. Eventually, we all come back to meet in child's pose. Your pose, your practice, take your time. And if you're in child's or if you're just coming out of the crow or the headstand, Let's all come to meet eventually into the fish pose. So come up and out of the child or out of the crow and the headstand to lay on the mat with the heels together. <sighs> Bring the arms real close to the body. You can even get one and the other underneath the body, pressing the palms down, elbows to the earth. Press to the elbows, lift the chest, Top of the head comes flat to the floor. Keep lifting the chest, point the toes. Keep lifting the chest as the head rests. Lower set of teeth past the upper set of teeth. Matsyandrasana, this is fish pose. Slowly release the head. Extend the cervical spine, turn the palms to face up. 
Ah, bend the knees, bring the heels into the butt. We'll do Setu Bandhasana, a little bit more backward bending from here, feet hip distance. Palms press to the earth, press evenly the hands and feet. Lengthen the spine, lift the hips, lift the belly. Lift the ribs, keep breathing, lift the chest. If there's room, interlace the fingers underneath you. Means peel the shoulder blades together. Grab hold of one another's hands. Squeeze them together. Squeeze the shoulders. Drop the chin into the chest here. Mindful not to move the head too much side to side. Keep it right where it's at. Breathe into the bridge pose, please. If you'd like to go to the next stage in this sequence, you can release your hands. Otherwise, stay right where you're at. If you're releasing your hands, you bring the fingertips in line with the shoulders. Elbows in, press the palms evenly, press the heels evenly, coming up into wheel position. Elbows in, lifting up, keep pressing evenly into hands and feet. You can lift the heels, walk the feet slightly in towards the tail. Keep breathing, this is chakras in wheel position. And then slowly let's all come down to meet with a flat back spine, legs extended out in front, palms turned to face up. Purposefully take a deep inhalation in here and slow down the exhalation. Again, deep inhale and an even slower exhale. Connect your breath to your heart mindfully slowing down the rate of your heart. Let's go knees in the direction of the chest now, squeezing knees into chest. You can do a little rocking side to side if that's comfortable. If you want to bring your knees all the way in the chest, maybe kind of play a little happy baby. Whatever is the most comfortable position that you can find here, rocking, rolling, squeezing, or remaining still. Take a few moments to explore your inner landscape. Stay with breath. So if you find your mind thinking, return to breath. And we're going to come all the way up to a seated position. So if you want to rock forward and back, you may. If you want to just rock out to one side and come all the way up to seated. You may otherwise rocking forward and back. We're going to come all the way to stand, to all the way to seated, taking a few moments. Take your own transition, your own time, your breaths, and come all the way up to seated position, extending the legs out in front. Different kind of seat. There we go. Tailbone is down towards the floor. We're going to inhale the arms all the way up. We did a lot of backward bending. Here comes our folds. Hinge and fold the body forward. Place the hands to the feet, perhaps to the ankles, maybe to the knees, wherever you are. Extend the belly forward. Extend the chest forward. Extend the forehead forward. Ah, and breathe. Once again, stay with that breath for... Or 60, 70, 75 minutes on the mat, wherever long we're here, even if it's just a few moments, the breath remains the focus in the forward fold. All right, and I'll come all the way up. We'll take the feet hip distance apart. We'll move in the direction of our spinal twists. Feet hip distance apart, right hand's coming back beyond the line of symmetry, so getting it across the midline in the back, maybe a foot or two away from the tailbone. Left hand comes to the right thigh. Back elbow can come to the earth. Gaze up and out over your right shoulder. Left hand can come to the floor on your right side. Slowly, let's inhale. 
Exhale, switch, other side. Same thing on the other side. Walk the left hand back behind you across the line of symmetry, perhaps to the back elbow. Look out over that left shoulder now. Keep breathing. And slowly, let's come all the way up. Set it, ring it out the spine. Let's hold the spine in place. We'll do Navasan to close. Bending the knees, extending the legs, arms coming up, lifting the heart. Gazing right between the big toes. Let's finish with some Kapalabhati breath. Forceful exhalations through the nostrils, please. And slowly release. Spin around 180 degrees. Lay the spine flat. Remove the hair bond. Cover the eyes if that's comfortable for you. We are into Shavasana. This is corpse pose. Palms turn to face up. Ankles flopping comfortably to the sides. Again, eyes remain closed, committing to relaxation. We'll do some active relaxation. And lift the right leg two inches, point the right toes, squeeze, flop the right leg. Lift the left leg, point the left toes, squeeze, flop the left leg. Engaging the buttocks, now squeeze the butt like you're going to lift it, but take the belly button down, down, down to the earth and relax. The butt, relax. The hips, relax. The genitals. Attention to the rib cage now. Take a deep inhale, expand, expand, expand. Exhaling breath, open the mouth. All the breath goes out. Make a fist with the right hand, lift the right arm just an inch and squeeze, flop the right. Fist with the left hand, lift the left arm just an inch, squeeze, flop the left. Lengthening the cervical spine now, keep the skull on the ground, take the chin in the direction of the chest, lengthen, 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 and relax the head and neck. You can turn the head and neck now side to side, and back to center, opening the mouth wide, 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 stick the tongue out. Returning the lips together softly. Squeezing all the muscles in the face now, the temples, the hairline. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax and soften every single muscle in your face. Entire body now from Toes to head, from bone to skin, relaxing. Entire body from head to toe and bone to skin, relaxing fully and deeply now, please. Tension coming to our breath and breathing at the nostrils without changing a thing. Become a witness. Witnessing the breath pass at the nostrils. Shifting attention to the navel region, watching the belly rise and fall with each passing inhalation and exhalation, please. Use your mindful attention to watch the belly rise and watch the belly fall. To 
together now, non-verbally, counting the breath backwards from 10, watching the belly rise at 10, watch the belly fall at 10, belly rise at 9, belly falls at 9. Stay with the count, try not to lose count, all the way down to 1, watch your breath from the rise and fall of each breath. You encounter one, you can surrender the breath, surrender the count. Surrender your attention, let it drift effortlessly where it wants to go. Allowing for breath, allowing for attention to wander. There's nothing you need to do in this moment. Simply relax. Corpse pose, Shavasana. Totally relaxed. Become aware of our breath and breathing once again. Gradual rise and fall of the belly with the inhalation, with the exhalation. Gradually begin to deepen breath, allow the body a natural awakening process. Allowing natural movement in as you're ready, fingers and toes, head and nose, begin to wiggle slightly, keep deepening breath as the body wakes up from a restful slumber. You can reach or stretch like it's your first move of the day, anything that feels great here, including stillness. Guide yourself effortlessly now to a comfortable sideline position. Return to stillness. Remain the witness. the body comfortably up to a relaxed seated position with the eyes closed, long spine. And once again, notice your breath and breathing right at the nostrils. Breath has been our guide. Compare the 
contrast from when we began to this moment, the ease and the fullness, the steadiness of the breath, direct result, posture practice. Shift attention to the brow center, the seat of integration, meditative pose. Resolving to travel this stillness with us out into what we know to be a very chaotic world. Remain your own anchor. Trust in this center of stillness that you've created. Let it be a place you can come back to again and again in any moment. Hands together at heart level, gesturing in appreciation of one another's presence and these sacred practices, closing customarily. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. And thank you. We're so grateful to have you here on Live Yoga Channel. We love to do these live yoga practices every Monday and Thursday morning, so please hop on with us on the live if you have not already. Reach down, get the like button on the video, please subscribe for notifications, leave a happy comment, um, let us know that you're out there practicing and enjoying this. We're having great fun sharing these practices, so mahalo, namaste, and we will see you on the mat. Aloha.